Hi friends, this is Deepak Nair from the Cisco UCC Extract team. So this is part two of the tutorial uh, for CAD login failure. So we see a similar error message, login failure to configuration error uh, for multiple locations. As, as I mentioned uh, previously, uh, the best way to troubleshoot these issues is to capture logs and read logs and identify the root cause. So let's go ahead and uh, pick this scenario where the CAD login fails with this particular error message. I'll show you a demo of uh, what the agent sees on the screen. So the agent tries to log in uh, into the Cisco agent desktop. Puts in the password. And gets this error. Login failed due to configuration error. Please ask your system administrator to associate your phone with RMJ API provider. That's the application user. According to the instructions in the administration guide. So let's go ahead and perform some preliminary checks and see if the configuration is correct. If, in, in case if the configuration is correct, then we'll go ahead and capture logs and see uh, what we find in the logs. So this is my UCCX server. We can see the version is 10.6.1 base. And uh, this is a call manager to which it, uh, it is integrated with. It's 10.5.2, okay? So the first thing that I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and check if that particular phone that the agent is using is actually added under the control devices or of the, uh, in the RMCM application user. To check that, I'll go to the UCCX, I'll click on systems, and I click on Cisco Unified CM configuration. When I scroll down, I, I see the RMCM application user is RMCM. So I'll copy this user, I'll go to the call manager, I'll, under user management, application user, I'll just go ahead and put in RMCM and hit find. So this is the RMCM application user and uh, the phone that the agent is using is uh, a CIPC and uh, the agent is using a, using a dedicated phone which means that he's, uh, the agent is not using extension mobility. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and check the phone MAC address. Okay, this is the phone MAC address ends with 54989. So I'll just go ahead and check if this particular phone is added in the control devices. 54989. So it doesn't look like uh, it's a configuration issue with the phone not being added in the RMCM application user. So we can see that the phone is declared under the control devices. So this configuration looks correct. So the next step is to capture logs and uh, see an exception or an error message in the logs pointing to the exact issue. So I recreated the problem and captured the uh, CCX engine logs for the last five minutes using RTMT. And this is the log file that I got. So let's go ahead and search for login events. Okay, we can clearly see a lot of login failed events, right? So let's go ahead and tail the last login failed event. And let's see the first, a few lines uh, above the login failed message. So this is the SSRM resource manager, it says this is the agent now this is the error message that we, we, we are looking for. Terminal followed by a phone MAC that ends with D2A75 will not check IPv4 properties as terminal is unregistered. So looks like the login request is being sent to a different phone because when we checked the MAC address used by the agent uh, or the phone MAC used by the agent ends with 54989 and the request is being sent to AD2A75. So the next step to isolate the problem would be to go on the call manager and check the agent extension. So this is the UCCX. I'll go to the resources page and I see the agent IPCC extension is 8000. So on the call manager, 
go to call routing and route plan report. Under route plan report, put in the extension of the agent. Looks like we've found what the problem is. Looks like the same extension is assigned to two devices, which is an unsupported configuration for UCCX. So this in the UCCX uh, point of view, we call it shared extension. So this extension is shared by two devices and we can clearly see that the second device that it shares the extension is the one that we see in the logs to which the request is being sent to. Yep. It clearly prints the error terminal followed by the uh, phone MAC address. IPv4 properties as terminal is unregistered. So this is an unsupported configuration for UCCX having shared lines. So the way to fix, it, fix this is to make the IPCC extension unique. So let's go, to the, let's click on the phone icon and let's go to the line level. And from the line level, let's go ahead and disassociate the phone that we do not want and hit save. The update is successful and uh, now we see only associated devices has the correct MAC address of the phone. So I go to the route plan report again just to confirm this. Okay, now we just see one result for 8000 and we can see the 8000 extension is mapped to the correct IP phone. So let's go ahead and attempt uh, an agent login again. Looks like that fixed it. The agent login is now successful. We can see at the bottom it says in service, which means that all the components used by the uh, Cisco agent desktop is showing active. I can move the agent from not ready to ready and looks like the agent login is now successful. So. The problem that we were facing is that the login request was being sent to a different phone MAC address and uh, the phone used by the agent was a different one. The reason why this was happening is because we were we, the same IPCC extension used by the agent was assigned to a different phone MAC address. I hope this has been informative and thank you very much for viewing.